I go by the name of Christ Young, and I have an addiction. I'm addicted to sneakers. It all started out as a kid, and just like you, I couldn't wait to go sneaker shopping. So on the first day of school, I could show up with the freshest pair of kicks money can buy. But as I got older, it turned into not just having the flyest kicks on my feet, but I wanted more. I wanted rare sneakers, limited editions, hard to find kicks, the ones you couldn't just go to a regular sneaker store to get. So follow me on my journey. I'll be taking you all around the world to talk sneaker culture with collectors, sneaker fanatics, boutiques, celebrities, and athletes. So buckle up your seatbelts, enjoy the ride. This is The Sneaker Game. Welcome to another episode of The Sneaker Game. I'm your host, Christ Young, and we're here in Bronx, New York, about to interview my boy from IG, Hoodies Vintage. He's gonna show us his U and Shoe collection, his vintage Knicks apparel, and talk a little Knicks basketball. Let's go. So looking around, uh, how and when did all of this start, man? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's been an addiction of mine for a long time. You know, as a kid, I always was a Knicks fan, so I used to, you know, you know, Monday through Friday, I would have four or five different jerseys. You know, Ewing, Starks, even something like a John Wallace. I remember I had a John Wallace jersey. John Wallace, wow. So, you know, growing that? up, being a Knicks fan, I just always kept my stuff. So, and it kind of came from like my pops, or even my grandma, they always kept stuff. So it was like a bad trait, but I turned it into a good trait. Cause you know, I could go away 10 years ago, I still got my John Starks jersey, or you know, or, John Wallace or Larry Johnson. Oh, kind of Larry things. Johnson, Grandma Ma. Yeah. Wow, yeah. So about like 10 years ago, I came back from college. And when I came back from college, I started going to the games. And when I was going to the games on a regular basis, I always wanted to wear something different. Mm -hmm. I always, so I would really like look around. It was like a competition in my head, seeing what this dude got on, what he got on, what yeah. that got on. And I always wanted to be like better. And I had like this pride. So you're you trying know? to outdo the I'll other do, people. I'll do the, the other game. people. But e even as a kid, like, you know, going to the NBA store, I wanted something different. Or even Cosby. I remember Cosby that was right below Madison Square Garden. I wanted mm -hmm. something different. So it kind of was like addiction that started. And being I never threw my stuff away, I just kept at it, kept at it. Kind of like it. a Knicks hoarder. A like Knicks you hoarder. hoarded all of it up. Pretty much. And this is, you know, what you get from it. Yeah, I see uh, Anthony Mason over here on the wall. Right, we got my dude. boy Oakley. Got of course, we got the, the autograph signature. Yeah, gotcha. this is Crazy Slam. Oh, this is the famous Duncan. This is crazy. If anybody watched uh, episode one mm -hmm. uh, at Jordan Heads, uh, we actually had the clip of this whole thing. We we had a little light conversation about the Knicks too. Look, so. I know a lot of Jordan fans say he wasn't there, but you look, man, he's there, he's jumping. And he, he got them good old up. flights on. You know, the forces, actually. These yeah. forces, right? I got Air Force. Those. I go to the game with those, man. I'm killing it. Yeah, for real. And, and the joints that Oakley got. You get your hand on them flights. Yeah, I'll be Crazy. Good. Definitely be good. All right, so when did you realize that this is getting out of hand? I mean, I mean we, we're, we're doing a tour. Yeah. And, like, we, you have, like, rooms. Like, yeah. as in plural, you have rooms of Nick's gear. Yeah. When did it hit you that... Man, this is this is too much. Like, I know it's overwhelming. This is overwhelming. Uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna say about three or four years ago, when every time I would go to a game, I would have my stuff in bags. So I would literally dump the bag on the floor and find something to wear for the game. It's and crazy. it's all cool, you know, when you find stuff. But then it was to leave in a mess. It was crazy. And I only got a one bedroom, so I'm like, all this stuff can't fit. Yeah. You know, you got somebody come over, visit, whatever. I gotta hide my next stuff in the corner, put it in the closet. So I thought about making, you know, recently making a Nick Cave. Mm. So we got the whole basement. So this is how this came about. So this is the Nick Cave. This is the Nick Cave. So, right, you go. know, say we got three games this week, right? I'll stop here Monday and get my outfit set for the week. And just mm. throw something on real quick and go to the game.
Oh it. shit. This is crazy. It's the Ewing room. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Need a pair of Ewing, this is where I come. Wow. That's where I come. This is crazy. Now this is this is like this is out of control. Like, how did it get this bad? I just you know being at the Ewing's a little more bulky than the average sneaker, space is real limited. So I feel like Ewing's done enough. He need he needs his own room. Purple joint. He needs his own room. I got a Nick jacket to go with that too. Oh my. Yeah, they got purple and it's suede. I got two of them. Oh, I remember these. Oh wow. Yeah, they just re-released those. Wow, with the reflected joints. These the OGs? Yeah. Order, order. These nah, are not nah, the retro. Nah, 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 these nah. are retro. These are retros, yeah. Okay. Which ones are the OGs? You have any OGs up in here? I think those right there. You oh yeah, there? yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I peeped them as soon as I glanced. Yeah. Ooh, got the OGs here. Look, you can see the joint is gone on the tongue. Real OGs, and you know I got I got the uh, restoration plug too. Oh, I don't bro. know what he can do for you, but. I think with those, I just like wear some pants and cover it, you know what I mean? Yeah, my boy Joey might be able to do something oh, for you, yeah. yeah. I give you his yeah, contact. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. Throwing a nice little white starter snake jacket. I'm good to go. Satin? Can never go wrong with that. Night, yeah, yeah the good satin good joint. Satin. Woo! Yeah. See, I got some still with you know, tags on, I ain't even break out yet. Crazy, oh yeah, this is crazy. Starter jerseys. Practice joints. Got the joints with the gold logo. Oh, I throw on my gold. Oh yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. It's the human room. I take pride oh, in this, I like this one right here. What year was this from? That's like early 90s. You can tell by the logo. Right here, this Knicks logo, they stopped using this in 91. Mm. So you can see how the young key yeah. looks. So it's like the logo was a little rounder with the basketball. Crazy. Let's look our way over. Oh, yeah. Remember, remember this joint? It's crazy. And they all have different textures. Yeah, and that, that joint right there is from the 80s. Um, Sand Sand Knick, I believe. They used to make jerseys in the 80s. It's kind of like odd modern day swing man. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so tell us which Ewan's here, in your standpoint of a collector, has significance to you. Mm, that's a tough one. But as a Nick fan, I can't front. I got to go with my Nick colors. Mm, classic. Classic. You can never go wrong with these. I had these for a while now, probably about six years now. Still kept them fresh too yeah. for six years, man. But definitely, this is like nicked out. Like you wear these sneakers, people know you like yeah. the Knicks. Yeah, definitely. These are my babies right here. Also, a pair that's dear to me. Is these? These are kind of new. These are yeah within the last two years, but I kind of mm -hmm. like the colorway. You know, it still got the Nick theme behind it, but it's just like '90s vibes. '90s vibes. Me '90s, 90s vibes. vibes. Just like that, you know, retro kind of look. So I feel like you could throw a Nick, you know, give you more colors and options to play with too. You know what you can play with this? You know, remember cross colors? Yeah. Bro, if you get your hand on a vintage cross color with the multi yeah. colors. You see, you see the vision, you see that. the vision, right? Wait, this to a 90s party. You know, they got Killing. the 90s yeah, vibe. Yeah, a little party. 90s, yeah. definitely. So those two, those are my joints right there. These patent leather right here, this little Halloween theme. So if you get you a black, you know, black and orange Nick colors mm. too. So you get you a nice little satin jacket, starter joint, or even a leather. The leather on leather could be a lie, but sometimes you go to the game, you gotta be loud. Yeah. So the leather on leather, you gotta deal with it. Especially if you like courtside or yeah. something, you gotta stand out. You gotta look like a star, you know what I'm those, saying? Those, those three's probably my, you know, my babies right there.
these right here, these St. Patty's. You got it with these. Every year, the Knicks play on St. Patrick's Day. So with Pete, what I'm trying to do is the Knicks had a, a jersey, St. Patrick's theme, in like 05, 06. Mm -hmm. I got to get my hands on that. Every, every year, we play on St. Patty's, so I throw on some St. Patty Ewings, maybe a David Lee, Nate Robinson, green jersey. Dope. These joints is ill right here. Yeah, those are ill, definitely. St. Patty's. St. Patty's. You gotta get that jersey though. Right. You get that jersey to go, man. Oh, St. Pat Patrick yeah. Ewing. Exactly. Lit. I get that jersey, we good to go. All right, so as far as your collection, what is the most rare pair that you have in here? What's like really rare that you barely uh, can get your hands on? It's a couple, the gold joints. These actually um, Ewing, the Tiana Taylors. Mm -hmm. Tiana Taylor, um, Patrick Ewing, and Fabulous. They had mm -hmm. a, a little release, a launch party a couple years back. And these is her joints. Mm -hmm. So I think it was only a certain amount that was, you know, allowed, yeah. you know, created, implemented. So, so they did just rare. It was like yeah. a certain amount of kicks went out for that year. Pretty and that's much. it. Definitely. If you got them, you got them. If you don't, you don't. Definitely. And these is the Fab joints, the Fab version. Oh, dope. So. Got the Gucci theme. Yeah. Definitely. So this is the fab version, still got the gold in it, the Gucci thing. We good to go with those. Lit, lit. And there's one more pair, you know, for the holiday season. Every Christmas, I go to the Nick game. I went the other day, I had to throw on my Christmas colors. These, these are called the Miracle on 33rd. Mm. A pack of shoes released these a while back. I um, actually came with a, a hat and a starter jacket, satin oh, starter word. jacket, Christmas colors. Every Christmas I wear it to the game. Crazy. And of course, I like the gold, always like the gold in the back. Yeah, you definitely gotta crush these every time you wear these. Definitely. There's no way around it. Yeah, this is dope. So you go to a Nick game, you got some Christmas colors on. Like, it don't even matter, they ain't Nick colors. Like, Nick you very, Christmas. Look, the Christmas cheer. The you Christmas know what I'm saying? Cheer. Very, very festive. All right, so as far as the fashion world, do you think that the Ewan apparel and Ewan kicks is underrated? About far. I mean, if you really look back on it, the 90s, these are some of the best kicks you could rock. Like picture something like this right here. Imagine you in a park, you know what I mean? You playing ball. Basketball joints. With the actual Spalding, you know what I mean? Throwing some shorts with this. I know they're a little big or whatnot, and some people would think they bulky, but like anybody can rock this. Imagine a, a small chick rock these and just crush it, you know what I mean? Kill it. So I feel like by far Ewing, you know, athletics didn't get the shine that it deserves. You know, if you look back in the 90s, he's one of the first dudes with his own sneaker line that everybody in New York had, everybody had a pair. So I feel like we launching it, we need to show, you know, that same support, you know, a fellow New York legend. This is on I, gotta, I gotta get me a pair of Ewings now. Yeah, man. I gotta go to Flight Club, see what they got, see man. See what they got, they here. You got the silver metallic joints mm -hmm. over here. Jesus crazy. Yeah. I got a little mixed leather to go with that. Huh? I got a mixed leather. It's called, it's a little more modern though. It's not really vintage, but it kind of go with it. So you know every once in a while I get some up-to-date stuff. You gotta pop it out the closet, you yeah. know what I mean? Get your get your money's worth. Pretty much. Yeah, these is classics right here. Alright, so let's make our way to the next joint. So what's the name of this room right here? This is more of a 90s era theme. You know, a lot of players, late 90s, early 2000s. My man, my man, my man. Spree was my guy. You my see, we man, got, my man, my man, Spree well. You see, we got that Spree. We got the Puma, the Puma joint. Mm, we got the champion. champion joint. Then we got Puma again, too. Yeah, so I got But it's starter. Starter. Oh, my fault. Yeah, you so got, got variations. Puma. Yeah, I got variations. We got Puma, champion. Starter. Starter. I got my guy Camby over there too. Oh, Marcus Camby. Camby was my guy. But my guy over here too, Allen Houston. That was one of my favorite players. Oh, oh my boy, have you met him yet? Have you nah, seen him at the, the Garden yet? I haven't met, I haven't met him yet. That'd be guy. ill, you can see him get a good signature and all that. Definitely, I definitely. 
definitely. I see you had a John Stock signature in the uh, other room, so yeah. that's pretty dope. Stocks is my So guy. you got a lot of jackets and stuff here, I noticed. Um, pullovers. Start a pullover. Pull, pullover too. This is dope. Different flavors. Mm -hmm. Different flavors, different colors. We got orange here for you. Ooh. Like you want to throw on joint. some orange ewings. If you want to be super bright, you throw on some orange ewings. But you got to be feeling yourself you to throw this on. Yourself. You got to be in your bag that Definitely. day, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Alright, <laughs> I'm following your lead. Let's get to, let's get to the next room. My boy got rooms on rooms on rooms. This is the gold logo I was telling you about. Mm. It's 96, 97 starter jump. So when I wear the Ewings, I wear something like this. Mm. You know what I mean? This is another black to black version. These jackets this online still... go like like five hours, something like this. Wait, what this. year is this from? This is early 90s. You don't have the year on it, but this is definitely early 90s. My boy Marbury, Fields. And in here, you know, it's a little little rec room. You know, Clyde, you know, you got the Clyde room. My pops love, you know, Clyde Frazier's suede joints. So he get a little love over here. Little Knicks varsity jackets, you know, leather Clever. joints. Ooh, look at this joint under here. In, in, in the archive. Yeah. Yeah, this joint. Oh, we got this some, that good leather too. Yeah, we got some more Clydes here. There's some new Clydes. Up there. Nick colors, of course. It's that good leather. Yeah. So, you know, I got the varsity jackets. Look, he even on. got the baby stuff. All right, so this has definitely been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for showing me your collection. Um, I've Appreciate seen the jackets, yeah. the, 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 the sweatpants, the hats, the memorabilia. Mm -hmm. Very nostalgic. This has definitely been one of the best. Matter of fact, hands down, the best. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Nick's collection I've ever seen from one single person. Like, it's overwhelming. Um, I appreciate what you do to the culture. Um, what's your plans next? What's next for, for the Nick's collecting and what you're doing? What do you have your eye on now? I mean, in regards to, you know, what's the next steps, just keep doing what I'm doing. Just, you know, I'm. I'm finally getting noticed, you know, it's definitely, you know, a great opportunity. I appreciate the interview and whatnot. But hopefully next time we interview, we'll be at the parade, championship parade. So just keep going. My you, know, man. I'm, you know, I'm a next season ticket holder, so I go to the game. So I got to keep going. Hopefully it can continue lifelong. God willing, I could afford it when price is getting crazy. But I'm just keep going, keep grinding, keep pushing.